Hey guys, Zypher here. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial, easy to install add-ons for World of Tanks. We'll be doing uh, Jimbo's Crosshairs and Hitbox Installer. We've got these useful links on TeamSpeak that I'm going to use. So we're going to curse.com, www.curse.com. Um, on the main page, just search Jimbo's Crosshairs and we'll bring you up to this page. Um, you don't have to have the Curse client to do this. Just simply download now. When you download now, it's going to download a zip file. I saved mine in my desktop just to make it easy. Um, while it's downloading, I'll go ahead and create a uh, new folder, just anywhere you want to put it, and you can find easily. Uh, for me, I put it in my add-ons folder. There it is, Jimbo's 8.5. So we get your zip file. So open that up. We already got it opened up. Inside the zip file, you're going to have RD mode, a res mode, and a readme file. The readme file is basically just going to tell you exactly what I'm telling you right now. Um, so you extract these two files. Go to extract, extract, point it to whatever folder you created. So I'll just for purposes do that. Extract to and find that folder. So that was on my C drive games. C drive games. Little tank add-ons. Um, and there's my folder, but they're already in there, see? But if you didn't already have the folders, obviously you just hit unzip and it's going to put these two folders in there. So there, done. Don't need that anymore. Alright, so now you've extracted those two, these two files. Uh, the main one is your res mods. When you open up your World of Tanks folder, by default when you install the game, it puts World of Tanks in a games folder, not your program files. Unless you change that yourself. Just an FYI. So, World of Tanks. There, we got a ResMod folder in there. Alright. So, in this ResMod folder that you uh, downloaded, open it up, you're going to see a 8.5 and a new clan icons. Um, 8.5, there is no new clan icons, so I'm going to put that in there because it's new. Voila. Alright, so also, you'll notice you have an 8.5 folder. Uh, if you haven't done any add-ons, there's not going to be anything in this folder. But, uh, just open this up. You've got a GUI folder. Inside that GUI folder, you got a Flash folder. Inside the Flash folder, there's all your little files for Jimbo's crosshairs. So go through your 8.5 on your actual World Tanks folder. Um, if you don't have these files I'm going through right now, uh, on this part over here, go ahead and copy-paste over. So... Um, for most people, all you'd have to do really do is copy this folder over, paste it, and it'll replace. Oops, it'll replace this folder. And when you do that, QI flash. That's where they're all going to be. They're going to be in your ResMod folder under 8.5 in the GUI in the flash. That's where you're going to point these guys. Paste, copy over. And like I said, if you don't have these folders, just cut, you know, start with the highest one under res mods. Um, once you have these two, then you gotta go back to your that RD folder. There we go, RD mode. In the new Jimbo's crosshairs, there's only three versions. Vice the six they used to have. You got a full, light, and medium. Full is gonna have a whole bunch of stuff on your screen. Yada yada yada. I like to use a medium, just enough information. So same thing. Here you go. You got a new Jimbo file. By default, it puts one in there for you, but this is a more useful one. So I copy, paste, and I'll just go ahead and do it for you. Copy, paste, go ahead and replace it. All right, there you go. Now you're all set. Close down your World Tanks file or client if you're running the game and restart it, and you'll have the new crosshairs. That's Jimbo's crosshairs for Hitbox Installer. Uh, where is it? Here you go, Hitbox Installer. You click the link. On um, this link, it's gonna bring you down to the download page. Um, just as a brief explanation, <clears throat> this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna put these skins. It's gonna install skins like this for every type of tank in World of Tanks, as long as they they have been uh, or I guess important enough to put these boxes on. Um, what these boxes mean? Green is uh, you can possibly get a crit engine crit there. Red is weak armor. Blue is internal tanks. Yellow is commander. Yellow is the color of these icons. If you notice, you've got like, for in this example, the gunner, loader, uh, commander would be 
binoculars. The uh, driver's going to be a cog. You also have these little port view things you can see. Actually, red is, that's red, weak armor. Red. Pink is uh, ammunition rack. Alright, so to download this, go scroll down to where you see this nice big long download bar. You hit download. I'm not going to download it because I already have it, but you just hit, you can either save to your desktop or run it. Either one works. Once you have it, um, mine is in, yeah, it's back in that add-ons folder. There it is. Once you, if you download it, instead of saving it, it's going to put this, basically, a setup thing in here. Um, you run the setup, it's really so, uh, lightweight and easy. Once the setup is done, it'll put a icon on your desktop right here. When you run that, it's just a little GUI. Simple add-on, lightweight. You click turn on. It's putting the skins, it's replacing all your normal skins with the hitbox skins. And if you turn it off, it puts takes off the hitbox skins and put, puts the originals back in. Nice and easy. And now you're good. You can go ahead and close down the, uh, close all your folders, start up the game, and now you will have Jimbo's Crosshairs add-on and hitbox installer add-on. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.